Hotel California is one of the most popular songs ever played, and it's also a favorite song among beginners. It's a great milestone song, and many people want to learn it. Now, honestly, there are thousands of tutorials out there that can teach you the song. So we want to do something different. What if we use the song to create a bunch of cool exercises? This will help you improve your ukulele skills, enhance your creativity, and play the song better. Now, there are a lot of things we can do, but we need to start with the chords, right? Let me show you the chords. I'm using my Mackay LT80 tuned in standard tuning, high G tuning, and we're playing the chords in D minor. So you have D minor, A major, C major, G major, B flat major, seventh, F major, G minor, and A major. So take a moment to practice the chords. Plenty of chords, and of course, if you're just starting out, you can use a simple finger picking pattern, uh, plucking the strings with your thumb, 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 and index, and you're good to go. And by the way, you can get the tab on the uh, Patreon page, tab and interactive tab for tenor and baritone tuning on the Patreon page. Let's check this finger picking pattern. We start on the fourth string, and we have thumb on the fourth, thumb on the third, thumb on the second, and index on the first. I love this pattern, it's very simple. Such a great finger picking exercise. And by the way, if you love this style of teaching, check out my course, The Daily Uke Challenge. You will love it. We have a lot of teaching like this and you can learn something new every single day. Now, I like this exercise, but what if we wanna make these chords look the same by using the same chord shape? This is gonna be such a beautiful and creative exercise like this. With this approach, you can come up with a ton of different chord families. Uh, maybe chords you've never played, but they're very simple to play. As you can see, I wasn't really using that crazy chord shapes. Now let's take a look at the chords and the chord shapes. We open up with a beautiful D minor add nine. And we have fret number seven, five, zero, and zero. Then we have an A5. We move this chord shape one fret back and we play six, four, zero, and zero. Then we have a beautiful C6 chord. We move this shape one fret back, but we have to change the third and the second string. So we're playing five, four, three, and zero. Beautiful C6 chord. Now for the next chord, we move this shape one fret back and play this chord shape. It's four, two, zero, and zero. A beautiful G, six, nine chord. Now we move this chord shape one fret back and play a beautiful B flat major seventh chord. Then we bring this chord shape all the way up to fret number 10 and play an F major chord. It's 10, 9, 8, and 0. Now from here, we take these two fingers and we bring it here on fret 7 and on fret 6. Now this is a beautiful G minor add 9 chord. And we finish with uh, the beautiful A7 chord shape. Played with 0, 1, 3, and 0. 
So as you can see, the cord shapes are very similar and we're moving them across the neck. Then of course you can still use the finger picking pattern um, we learned a few minutes ago. You see how we're using the song to create awesome things? Now, it doesn't have to be all about finger picking. We could do strumming. And so we could strum the chords and you know, one of my favorite things to do is to use percussive strumming. So we will strum a few times and then uh, use the thumb, the thumb slapping technique to strike the string. It's going to sound awesome. Let me give you an example. Super simple and straightforward. The challenge here is to add the percussion. So the strumming pattern is not that challenging when you think about it. You have down, up, down, up. That's it. Super simple. The thing is, after the last up stroke, we're gonna strike the string, the fourth string, with the left side of the thumb. This is gonna give us a beautiful, uh, percussive sound. Now, as I strike the string with the thumb, I'll also mute the chord. So. And when you play it faster, it sounds awesome. Now, of course, one of my favorite things to do is to, you know, add a melody to the chords. And here we can do a lot of different things, of course, as always, but we want to keep it simple. And so I want to show you how we can add a melody within the chord shape. So let's go back and use those lovely, you know, uh, simple chord shapes. Now for each chord shape, we are adding a melody within the same position. So it sounds like this. We use the same structure, so it's always chord and then melody. Same picking pattern with thumb, 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 and index. We do it twice. And then we play the melody. So for the uh, D minor at nine, the melody is on fret five. A five. The melody starts on fret four. C6, the melody starts on fret 3, and G6-9, the melody starts on fret 2, B flat major, the melody starts on fret 1, F major, the melody starts on fret 8, um, G minor at nine. The melody starts on fret five. And we play A5. And the melody starts on fret four. So we can be creative with songs and practicing all these exercises will make you play the song, the original song better because you are experimenting with the same chord progression in many different ways. So I hope you enjoy this. 
please check the tab on the Patreon page. You can support this channel uh, through the Patreon page. And also, you know, check my daily uke challenge. You can learn something new like this every single day. And I'm sure you're gonna love it. Check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. Enjoy this challenge, enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you next time.